Thanks, Joe. We're here at Comerica Park with Kevin Kiermeyer, Bishop Lures grad and rookie outfielder for the Tampa Bay Rays. How sweet is it when you hear your name mentioned with a major league ball club now? Um, it's pretty surreal. Uh, you know, I've been up here for a good solid month now and, um, you know, coming to these different ballparks and, you know, actually playing good and holding my own up here is, um, it's been really cool for me and it's my first time actually playing at Comerica Park. I've been here before um, as an outsider and now I'm playing in here. So, um, like I said, my life's been pretty surreal as of late and uh, it sounds cliche, but I'm living the dream. Yeah, how amazing is it that you take uh, your experience winning a state championship at Bishop Blue as a senior in high school? You didn't know where you were going to play college baseball, if you were going to play college baseball, and now you're playing in the major leagues. Yeah, uh, you know, going back to 2008, we won uh, state in baseball. Uh, had no clue what I was doing, and then, uh, you know, I got a scholarship two weeks before my school year started at Parkland. Had no intentions of playing pro baseball at all. And had a couple good years there and really fell in love with the game of baseball over again. And, uh, you know, I signed and just was like, well, let's see where this goes. And now I'm up here and, you know, making a living, playing the game that I love. And, um, you know, I couldn't ask for a better setup in life right now. We knew you had speed. We knew you had the defense. The hitting. You've come on. Coming into this game, you're hitting 298, seven homers. Where's the power come from? Where's the bat come from? Well, I think it's all about developing as a hitter. And, uh, you know, I've always been a raw type of player my whole career. And uh, I made a few changes with my swing. I added a leg kick uh, last year and into this year. And I think that's helped with my timing and really being ready for, uh, you know, fastball, breaking balls. And, and I'm swinging with authority. And that's something I really haven't done the past few years. But um, it's one of those things where I just feel more confident than ever right now. And, uh, you know, everything's translated good for me. And um, I never thought I'd be hitting home runs like this. But like I said, as, as time goes on, the more you learn how to hit, then, uh, you know, back spinning balls and eventually they'll go out. So it's been, uh, it's been pretty cool as of late. Home run Saturday against the Orioles. Home run Sunday against the Orioles. Home run Monday at Yankee Stadium. In your lifetime, have there ever been back-to-back -back games, back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back games, where you've hit three home runs like that, going all the way back to, like, Wildcat baseball. No, never. So uh, I picked a pretty good time to do it for my first time, uh, especially my first bat Yankee Stadium. That was that was crazy. You know, I knew we were playing on ESPN, and uh, I was like, you know, I know a lot of people will be tuning into this, so I want to show everyone what I have. And uh, for me to hit a home run my first at bat there was uh, really cool, and I just remember around the bases, and I was like, wow, I, I just can't believe that this is my life right now. So... Um, like I guess everything's been crazy this past month, but um, you know I just want to show everyone what I'm capable of doing out here on the baseball field, and I want to play this game for a long time. So it's been a real satisfying feeling for me to know that I can compete up here. Was there an aha moment where you realized, okay, I can play on the major league level? Yeah, I mean, um, you know, I got um, caught up in, in L.A. Uh, Desmond Jennings had someone in his family pass away, unfortunately, and then. Uh, you know, I made a couple really nice plays out there on defense, which what everyone expects me to do. And then I had my first hit there and my first home run there. And everything seemed so, so uh, I'm not going to say easy, but I slowed the game down enough where, um, you know, made the game feel comfortable to me. And it was one of those things where then I got sent back down to Myers and got called back up again. And I've been here ever since. So, and like I said, I've been consistent and I've been good, putting good swings on, on pitches and, you know, like I said, holding my own up here. So uh, there's not really a defining moment, but um, I think consistency is the key for me. You've been the number one play defensively on SportsCenter multiple times already this yeah. season. We're talking in 38 games. You've already made it a couple times. Is there a favorite catch that you have so far since you've been in a Rays uniform? Um, I think the one I made versus St. Louis when I, when I dove in the right center gap, you know, the bases were loaded right there, and, you know, we were really struggling at that time, and we needed to win, and that was a huge moment for us in the game. And, uh, you know, it felt, it felt awesome coming down with that ball. And also the catch I made uh, in L.A., you know, I jumped up and hit the wall and made that catch for David Price and, uh, you know, get a hug from him after that inning's over. So it's little things like that that, that go a long way for me. And... Um, so I, I would say those are my two favorites so far. In watching you, after you make a play, you try to keep it straight-faced. 
but you always bust out in a smile before you hit the dugout. Is that just the joy of realizing where you are and playing on this stage for you? Yeah, it's one of those things where, like I said, I expect to make that play, and um, when I do it, I try to stay cool, calm, and collective. <laughs> But uh, coming back to the dugout, everyone's smiling at me and one, you know, a high five or a, a big hug, something like that. So I got to smile. I love having fun playing this game. So it's one thing where you got to keep your composure for the most part, but you got to let it out, too. Uh, two more questions. What's the wildest thing about being a major leaguer? Is it all the off the field stuff or is it walking into a stadium like this every day and realizing okay, this is my office? Yeah, it, it's coming to the field every day. Um, playing in front of 40,000 fans and um, it's just like I said you you come to these games as a young kid and you never imagine yourself playing out here and now you know I can say that all my dreams have become a reality and for me to you know come out and play in all these different parks that I've watched on TV for all the years and and now playing them and playing against the best players in the world is is uh, is a really cool feeling for me. Out of Parkland, you're a 31st rounder, 941st overall, if my numbers are correct. Yeah. Is that something that fuels you and kind of never leaves the back of your mind, even when you're up here? Oh, yeah. I'm never going to forget that I was the 941st pick of the 2010 draft. And, um, you know, I knew I was going to surprise a lot of people. And it definitely fuels me because it's one of those things where, um, you know, it's all about the opportunity, but at the same time, um, you know, I just want to make the best of it by any by any means, and uh, I just want to play this game as long as I can. So that definitely, I've always been an under the radar type of guy, and that's fine with me, a silent assassin type of guy. But um, you know, if I'm if I'm in the lineup every day, that's all I can ask for, and I just want to help my team win. All right, that is Kevin Kiermeyer, rookie outfielder for the Tampa Rays of Bishop Lewers grad. Joe, back to you.